Welcome to the Status Report highlight for the 20th of December, 2016. Christmas is coming and the team have a small gift for us. 061 is on Stable Branch. Brian is going to tell us more about it. Peter talks about character growth and Mirik has information about vehicles and their presence on Experimental Branch. For those that weren't aware, we push 0.61 to Stable Branch. While there are still some issues we want to address, VoIP volume, supersonic cracks, container contents desync, infected footsteps volume, status modifier is stuck, and more. We looked at the experience and tests over the weekend provided compared to what was going to be available to those on Stable Branch over the holiday break and decided to go ahead and make the move. This allows us to ensure that users on Steam Stable over the holiday season will be able to enjoy Stable Daisy 0.61 experience while we continue to address the issues the team is concerned about on Experimental Unstable Branch. And pending build health potentially push these over to stable on our regularly scheduled Wednesday maintenance. Let's take a look at the milestone goals for 0.61 stable, and then we'll cover what is currently on Experimental Unstable Branch, as well as what is pending a new Experimental Unstable update. 0.61 milestone goals. Server login queue. Merge of new audio technology from Arma 3 Eden update. Update of weapon sounds for new audio technology. Dynamic spawning of infected. Predators. Wolves. Dynamic shadows. Network synchronization improvements. And new server browser. While we're happy to say that we've hit all these milestone goals for 0.61, there are still issues that need to be addressed. Currently on Experimental Unstable, we have a build of 0.61 which is focused on the following changes. Fix for issues with container contents desync. Fix to address supersonic cracks. Adjustments of animal sound effect levels. Adjustments for infected footstep levels. Adjustment to infected swing sound effects. In addition to the build currently in test on Experimental Unstable, we are focused on more Experimental Unstable updates to address. Status modifier updates. Adjustments to dynamic lights. VoIP volume too quiet. Issues with hand slots on corpses. Some clients experiencing FPS drops. And lastly, as promised, future 0.61 Experimental Unstable builds will also be pushed, more than likely after the holiday break, with changes to test network sync on vehicles in DayZ. These builds likely will have vehicles set up to spawn ready to drive, but don't expect the change to follow through to Stable Branch. The team are all enjoying watching, reading and hearing about our adventures in the latest change to Stable Branch on DayZ. The team hope you all have a safe and enjoyable holiday break, and reminding us that this is the last status report until January 10th. Next up we have lead designer Peter, who mentions three planned pillars to help towards building value to our character in the post-apocalyptic world of DayZ. The first being character appearance like growing beards, scars, bloody hands and others which really reinforce the connection between player and their characters in the world. The second pillar is pretty straightforward and it is connected directly to an upcoming stamina system. With the stamina in place, sprint wouldn't be intended for traversing long distances. That's what vehicles are for. However, it will be an important factor for fleeing from immediate dangerous situations you may encounter on reasonable distances. Keeping the character alive longer will benefit from being able to carry more load until the penalty for overload in terms of shortening available stamina strikes in. And the third pillar is soft skills, which the team have implemented in prototype state for quite some time. Same as with other stuff, for example the stamina system mentioned before. This mechanic is waiting primarily for introducing His Majesty, the new character himself which as you may know will be formed from interconnected systems like new animation system, new controller, and state machine, new physics, new damage system, new user actions, and others. In the end the team decided to strip soft skills to the bare minimum, and dare to take a different route once again so the vision of DayZ stays intact. Soft skills should not be mandatory, however they should reward long living, dedicated characters and reflect their past actions. The main idea behind it is simple. With little abstraction it is safe to say that you can stitch up someone. You for sure are relatively able to gut an animal or pick seeds from harvest. And on the other hand, if you can build fences and watchtowers, it should be relatively easy for you to cut down a tree or dig a garden plot. We introduced so-called specialty, which is an axis with two poles, precision and roughness. When a character spawns, the pointer is in the middle, neutral position. All actions in game can be divided between precise or rough ones. Even actions from traditional roles like medic can be categorized independently and sit somewhere else in the specialty spectrum. For example, a transfusion is a precise action while CPR is a rough action. Performing actions in game is moving specialty dynamically towards one pole or the other. Every action can have different weight so it can move specialty in a different amount. Let's say while performing transfusion you gain more precision than with simple bandaging. Dedicated characters will be able to profit from current state of their specialty in terms of performing given specialty actions with shorter times, 
less materials used, wearing out tools less, and more outcome gained as a current specialty is a multiplier for all of these. Non-dedicated characters who don't care about specialties or those who feel like a jack of all trades are not punished in this system as their specialty will be moving around the middle neutral position which means no penalty as both precise and rough actions will take default time, use default amount of material, worn out tools for default value, and gain default outcome. Note that we are not planning to punish dedicated characters yet, but there is a possibility to do so. If your specialty is more towards roughness, you will be stitching yourself as you would while your specialty is in the middle position. Peter thinks it's a kind of unique approach that doesn't spoil Daisy with unnecessary tables, numbers, UI clutter, and undesirable player behaviors. And finally, for this week's status report, we have lead gameplay programmer Mirak talking about vehicles. We made some progress with synchronization. It's still not perfect and you will experience some micro teleportation during driving when it hits experimental branch. So please keep in mind that it won't be in its final state. Currently, there is just one known blocking issue, and it's related to passengers not being able to get out of the vehicle sometimes. Mirak doesn't want to give any promises, but it's still our target to release vehicles on experimental branch before Christmas. And if we don't make it, it's a priority number one at the beginning of the year. And that's all for this week's status report highlight for the 20th of December, 2016. Just want to take this time to wish you all a Merry Christmas. I will be getting a couple more videos out before Christmas, hopefully. Remember to leave a like and subscribe as it helps the channel out a lot. Read the status report in full for yourselves for the most amount of information that they hold. And I'll see you peeps next time.